Okay, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the read when it is uh, slow to respond and it's not giving you good action. It's uh, the read tongue is out of adjustment and it needs to be adjusted so you get that faster, faster sound, that quick response. So anyhow, I have this read block here on my table. That's where I have the air coming out of right there. And I'm checking these uh, reads right here to see how they're responding. I don't know if you're able to see that right there, but there's air actually going through there already. And the read's not, not sounding too late. So that read is definitely out of adjustment. It's very slow. So is this one right here. This happens sometimes when you're uh, tuning them. Other times uh, they get like that on their own. They just get out of adjustment. You have to go back in there and adjust them. These I was tuning them yesterday, so the reed tongues have gone out of adjustment. I'm going to set them back in place. Now this one's good. It's got real good action. That's what you're looking for. Good action on all of them. As soon as you get that air going through there, that reed needs to be sounding. this one is out, this one right here, or on these other two, I'm going to adjust that real quick. And the way I'm going to adjust that is uh, you get a tiny screwdriver like this. And what we're going to do here is uh, stick that in there and pop that reed tongue out. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, right there. Pop that reed tongue out right there. Go in there and flick it. Just like that. Go back in there and check it. Now, it still needs more. What's happening here is that uh, reed tongue, it's it's too far open and I have to close that gap. You really can't see it good here but right up in here is, is the uh, that gap. And that gap needs to be about one and a half times the thickness of the actual uh, read time. So if it's too open you're going to get that, that late response. Again I'm uh, bringing this reed tongue up over here. I'm going to plug it trying to close that, that gap but at the same time I'm pulling it upwards to try to close that gap. Almost there. I still have a little bit of air going through there before it sounds. So I really need to get it closed up just a little bit more. Sometimes we rub up on the inside of it. It'll help close it. Let's try that again. It's acting better, but it's still not 100%. As you can see, you need to have a lot of patience working with these, working with these reeds. Because if you don't, you'll just end up getting frustrated and tear everything up. So 
a lot better. Needs a little bit more. That's a lot better. That's what I'm looking for right there. Fast action. This one right here, if you remember, it's, it's out of adjustment also. So I'm going to close that one up also. These uh, little tricks that I'm showing you here, the methods of adjusting these, uh, have been passed down to me by my father, Juan Cruz Flores. He's been uh, tuning the accordions now for like 50 years, so he's got plenty of experience. So right now you're getting lots of knowledge, lots of years of knowledge. Good thing he doesn't know that I'm doing this, putting it all out on YouTube. <laughs> this you think I'm giving away all his knowledge? It's better, still needs a little bit more. This practice, uh, so tune in accordions can seem humdrum, maybe even boring or mundane, but it must be done to have a good, good sounding instrument. It's the only way you can have good music by having a good sounding instrument. One of the downsides of, uh, of adjusting the uh, retone like that is many of the times when you when you do adjust that reed tongue back into place, it will tend to drop in a uh, in pitch just a little bit. So you'll have to go back in and and re uh, reset the tuning. But I'll show you that in another video. Right now, this is about getting uh, faster action on your uh, on your sound, better response, and that's how you do that. Also, on the flip side, sometimes when when you're uh, if your note when you're hitting the note on your accordion and it doesn't have a good response, sometimes it's actually choking up. It'll choke up because the reed tongue is actually too closed onto the reed plate. Whether it be on this outside, you know, on the notes going in on the accordion, or if it's on the outside, you know, with the with this reed tongue in here. If it's too closed, your sound is going to sound choked. Your note's going to sound choked, and you got you have to open it back up. And I usually open them back up just by pushing on them right up in here, just like that. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, the tips here, and we'll see you next time.